Hey, I understand that podcast might not be your cup of tea, so I cut this video up to a little bit of a shorter length so you guys can easily consume my content. So enjoy this little highlight video, and if you guys like this, I might do this with the rest of my podcast, as well as putting out the full thing. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Today, we have a very special guest. We have Selin, the voice of Fade, and I'm so excited to talk to you. As soon as your character dropped, I had so many comments. Get Fade, get Fade, get Fade. And... Uh, as soon as I found out who it was, I just took a shot and here we are. How do you, how do you dive into something like that? And were you previously into video games at all? Didn't really play a lot of video games. I mean, I knew from like my cousins a little bit, just like, especially not like I did a play like a little PlayStation, but not very like on computer that much. Like, I mean, when I was younger, I played some like little games, but my idea of like gaming was more like mario brothers mm -hmm. so i didn't have that much um knowledge about it so i have to like really learn about what the game is and kind of like like the valorant the riot games team was very very helpful in like kind of teaching me because there is a lot going on i mean it's very complex yes so it's not like a you know oh you do this you do this and then you win so it's like there's like a big story mm -hmm. behind it so i really really enjoyed that and getting to know this world was so much fun that it is a lot of information it would be a lot easier to be one of the first characters and i've heard this from a lot of voice actors because i've done i've done podcasts with people who who were the first character in the game so as the game goes on they learn that knowledge with it and then i've done characters where they've had to catch up on that knowledge and you right now are the the furthest person to catch up on all that knowledge i just want to know like was it overwhelming at times or it was definitely overwhelming just because um there is a lot of agents there is different relationships between the agents and so much has been happening so just catching up on the story and the agents and kind of like the little so i have to like watch a lot of the videos of you know the story kind of elements of the agents interacting and like before going into battle scenes and just learning about the details of you know the ults and kind of those little details and how the game exactly works and then going over learning about the agents and then where they are right now and how they ended up in turkey and istanbul so it was definitely a lot but so it was kind of like a crash course first started talking you said something that I that I absolutely loved. You said that I'm I'm representing this this part of the world. You're representing Turkey. And I I, I love asking this question because it's it's something that gaming is doing well right now, very well, is representing. And you have all these agents in Valorant from all different parts of the world. And you're bringing in little little, you know, words or whatever from your culture and I want to know exactly what what that means to you to be able to represent something that big and do you think that's extremely cool or what i think that's extremely cool also because i was very surprised they were like oh wait like they're doing a turkish character in valorant mm -hmm. it was just like i mean it's not very common that there's like you know i mean diversity is still something that's getting better Mm -hmm. And that was something that we're still working on, but also having this game where every agent is from a different country. And then, you know, you don't really like see Turkey that much, you know, it's not as represented as like, you know, friend, like France, like, or England or Italy. So yeah. it was just like very nice and shocking to me to be like, wow, they're doing this and I get to be a part of it. It was just like so mind blowing and just I'm just very honored. And um, I think they did a great job with kind of showing the cultures and like little bits and pieces with, you know, fades, the cats and everything. And then even the devil's eye. So like cats are kind of they're everywhere in Turkey, especially in Istanbul. Cats are kind of like symbolic just because there's a lot of street cats everywhere. So they kind of like even little by little like wanted to capture um some aspects and how they can incorporate that to the game so i was very excited for that the getting into the auditioning process and stuff like that yes yeah, so it is like secretive at first you don't really mm -hmm. know what you're auditioning for yeah um it was just kind of 
you know, a more generic name. So I didn't really know what I was auditioning for. It was just kind of like, you know, you do a couple of the lines. Um, some, there were some, you know, like the English lines, some like Turkish lines. So you kind of like do that. And then your basic idea is um, they give you a basic brief information about the character, but you don't really know exactly everything so mm-hmm. then you get to the then I I did that and then I got like a callback so a callback is like when they want to see you again so I went into the studio for that um, like a recording studio and then obviously because the pandemic it was most people were on zoom so we had to do it like I was in the studio they connected everyone in the team via zoom so I had to do it there and then um and then I think I got the job after that but I mean, the process was definitely, it was like fast, um, but I definitely like learned after the callback when they told me exactly, like when I got the job, okay, this is what it is. Mm-hmm. So they kind of leave you in the dark just because, you know, they don't want anything to give away. And I wasn't able to like, you know, share anything. And so it was, I was lucky. We recorded it actually in um, beginning of February. So I didn't have to wait that long. So oh, like this long year? Before. Yeah. Oh, wow. And even like me, I was like itching and I was like constantly like messaging them like, oh, do you have any like updates? Like, cause I wanted to like see pictures of Fade and they were still developing, you know, the, the effects. And um, so I still wanted to see like, oh, like what does she look like? And kind of all those. And they would uh, like send me some of the, sketches of it Mm -hmm. and some of her like rough cuts of her like performing the doing the alts and everything uh when when it comes to how much do you change your voice for doing fade i feel like well with my so i'm doing a turkish accent um and so i am like i i'm 23 i lived in turkey for 18 years and now i'm in los angeles but I can easily dive into my Turkish accent. And so my sound, my voice, I think kind of changes changes when I speak Turkish or when I like speak in my Turkish accent, I think it's a little bit more, I guess, rough. I already have a raspy voice, but I think it adds to that. Um, so I didn't like change it too much, but definitely changed it more in the alts when there was like more power and there was like more you know kind of um I was trying to be loud but not but without like raising my voice too much what was like the reaction and um the what did you think of the reaction to fade in like the public eye like were you were you pleased and happy and excited to, to finally get to share what you've been working on or yeah, absolutely. I was very excited. And um, I, from what I have seen, I'm not like, I didn't look at like, I don't have that much. I mean, I have an Instagram and a Facebook, but I don't have that much like social media, mm-hmm. like Twitter or something to kind of like dive into like what people think. But from what I've seen, like, I was happy to kind of hear that people did like it and, you know, did like enjoy it and like enjoyed like some of the fade lines. So, and yeah, and just like kind of comparing her to other agents and it was just like very funny and um, I was glad to see the reaction too. And I think um, like overall, I thought it was like positive. So um, yeah, it was definitely nice and like good to hear when people enjoy what you do and, you know, it doesn't like Cause it's like a voice thing and she's constantly talking in your ear. So you do want to you know, like it and not be like, yeah. Oh, shut up. I don't feel like enough people give credit to performances in video games. Uh, as a fan, I know a lot of voice actors will tell other voice actors that their performance was amazing or whatever. Cause they know it. They, they've been around it and stuff like that. But the more I've dove deep into this, I understand that it, a character like fade or any other valorant agent wasn't just reading lines it was it was actual character like developing the character developing the voice and how she would say it how she would think like in this situation blah blah blah 
all of that is a performance in it. It was it was genuinely amazing. So amazing job to you. Thank you so much. Yes, it's like you don't get to see the active parts, but when like I was saying some lines, I had to physicalize it. Yes. To get in it, like mm -hmm. the action lines and the kind of like, you know, going like before the battle or like when you're in the battle mm -hmm. and like the alt lines, like you can't just like sit and like yeah. I wasn't sitting doing any of the like there was a chair but we were like like should I sit I don't think I should sit down yeah because it is like active you know their teeth will chatter in the cold and dark it's kind of scary you know that. <laughs> he is scary <laughs> she's Maybe. very scary she does have that. oh I do want to get a uh oh one with a Turkish mm -hmm. word they think they can steal from us Adilan, this will be funny. Oh, eyes open. We have a job to do. Sweet dreams, asshole. Give them darkness, omen. Many people died here. Their fear still lingers. Omen, that gave me the chills, Abe. But the good kind. Face your fears! Mm. One dream ends, another one begins. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to close this out so I don't keep looking over there. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for doing this. Thank you so much. You are, you're such a sweet person. And, I, and you know, the Valorant community, it, we're so lucky to have you and and be able to share this experience with you. And I'm so excited to, to see you go further with other things in your career and also uh, further with Fade. Um, and I, I'm just, I'm so excited for you and I'm so happy for you. So congratulations and welcome. Thank you so much. And I'm very excited to be a part of the Valorant family. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thank you so much for speaking with me and helping me out. And yeah, I will definitely like reach out to you when yes. I might have some like questions. Anything stuff. day or night, just shoot me a DM and I will do my best to uh, be at whatever you need um, in this navigating this world of, of, of gaming and Valorant. So. Yeah, like I said, super excited to, to have you. And um, yeah, that's going to be the end of the podcast. Thank you guys for listening. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Çok teşekkürler herkese. İzlediğiniz için.